Stephanie? anymore. I guess I'm pretty thorough, huh? I must have read it in the Foundation's files. Come on. I gotta get you out of here and get you someplace safe. Go put some clothes together, huh? Just left the apartment. Find out where they go. Right now, that's all I want to know. What are you looking for? The microwave and the sunlight. <laughs> really? I've never seen anything like this before. I'm still amazed if someone has a phone in their car. All right. Might as well deal with this now. Kit! Say hello to Stephanie. Stephanie, meet my car, Kit. <laughs> say something, Kit. Come on, say something. She's gonna think I'm crazy. Hello, Stephanie. Michael isn't crazy, not in the clinical sense, at least. Thank you very much. He talks. How can a car talk? Computers. Don't ask me how, I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> How you doing? Feel better? <laughs> Aside from trying to adjust to being in a car that talks? Yes. Better. Thanks. As a matter of fact, the farther away we get, the better I feel. Where are we going? Foundation has a retreat just north of here. What's the matter? I just realized I hadn't asked you that. That scares me. What scares you? That I would trust a stranger so much. I think the reason I did is this feeling I have. This feeling I know you. Uh, Michael, there's a car following us. A blue sedan. You think it's the men that came to my apartment? That's my guess. Kid! Give me the car's license number and visuals on both men inside. Right away, Michael. There are the visuals, Michael, and I have the number. Then let's go. Hang on, Stephanie. <laughs> Lucky has a sense of humor. I wouldn't go that far. I beg your pardon. <laughs> the guy's got a car twice the car we've done. What am I supposed to do? All right, forget it. I think I know where they're going. It seems they've got a place in the mountains 40, 50 miles north. <laughs>
Well, here we are. Oh, it's beautiful. A fireplace, too? You want a fireplace? Yeah. <laughs> you got a fireplace. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Hello. You're late. I expected you over an hour ago. Who is he? It's my boss. Oh. Well, since Michael seems to have lost the power of speech, let me introduce myself. I'm Devon Miles. And you are Stephanie Mason? Yes. How do you do? Fine. Won't you make yourself at home? By the way, uh, the tea is very good. And now, if you'll excuse us, I'd like to have a word with Michael outside. Sure, I'll uh, unpack. Does she know who you really are? No. Good. Keep it that way. Devon, it seems to me 